Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Chef of Destruction! This is Super Dream Geek! <laughs> and uh, Joey wanted to do a little dance there. Um, last time we went to Canada, and we dueled some people, and we got another Millennium Item, and we've been sent next to the Galapagos Islands. But before that, um, I did an exceptionally small amount of grinding, and by that I mean it was literally three duels to get it from 180... 1882 to 85. <laughs> I just... Last week I was not feeling super great, so... Uh, I just went really slow, and that was all the grinding I could really muster, so... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. This is gonna be interesting. Um, I did look at the shop before uh, starting this recording, and there are a couple things I want. It's more, I don't know how to start switching things out in order to get them in here. But that's okay, we will figure that out later. Alrighty, so I guess uh, since there's nothing else to do because I don't know what I'm gonna start switching up in my deck just yet, I guess we are off to our next destination. I went the wrong way, but here we go, the Galapagos Islands. We. Oui. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we're just going right into this. Um, shoot. I forget what voice to give you, but I will try. I can hear the sea raging. It's shouting as if nature is out of balance. Well, that's not good. I feel as if you're a duel. I feel like you want me to duel you. Why does your sprite look so small? Why does your sprite look so small? It, is it just me? I think it's the hair that's kind of squishing his face a bit, but like, I don't know, he looks out of proportion to me. <laughs> okay, enough about that. I'm gonna go, uh, see what he wants. Can you not hear it? Can you not hear the pain of the ocean? I was raised on the high seas, so I can understand when all is not right. The waters are crying, but about what? Um, actually, what's going on? Reshef the Dark Bee! That's hard to believe. You just said that... Oh, okay, I guess that is kind of far-fetched. But the tides have been far from normal. If anything has to do with this mystery, go deeper into the island. You may find something. Cool. But would you like to duel? <laughs> Fine. Mako Tsunami does not flee from any challenge. Okay, I guess we are off to go duel... what this is. More than likely, he's going to bring out a... whatchamacallit? A water monster so I can trick and then do something. Jeez Louise. Okay, okay, so far so good. Save that. We'll save that in case something goes wrong. Do this. Now this should be able to take, in case there's a non-water monster. There should be something. Okay. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. What's that? Nothing. Uh, I feel like this is just okay to kind of lure him into attacking me. Mm, yeah, I feel like these things are too strong for my, uh, hourglass of life to really handle, but... Oh man, you are a tricksy sir. Yeah, let's see how much it is. Oh, okay, it's not as strong as I thought it was. Well, I mean, <laughs> if, if you want me to, sure. I am more than happy to oblige. Power up my monsters stronger, more powerful. All the power. Oh my gosh. Um, so if it's not obvious, I have, this is my fourth attempt. And, um, did you know that he has torrential tribute? Did you know that? Because guess who found out when her monsters just got wiped off the face of the duel mat? <laughs> the, the scene? Ugh, well, okay, that worked out surprisingly well. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, then. Hooray! The crest... We can do it multiple times. This both intrigues me and scares me. 100 dominoes obtained. Ice water. <gasps> Why, thank you. Um, yes, when I can fit this in my deck. Absolutely, I shall put you in my deck. Ooh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent duel! But next time, you won't win so easily. Alrighty. Um, I will believe that 150%. I feel like in order to duel you, I literally just have to go, um, put in a whole bunch of electric monsters with a couple traps just in case you have a non-electric. Because sometimes he has random wind monsters. Probably for some balance. Anyway, let us move on. Uh, I guess we're heading off to this section now. Who awaits us on the other side? Doo doo! Of course. Of course! Our old friend. Oh, oh my god, it's been forever since I've had to do this laugh. I don't even remember if I could do it right. <coughs> this island is a treasure trove of rare insects! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I think I was close, but not quite. Um, hello. It's uh, fancy meeting you here, sir. Yo, you're trying to steal my beautiful bugs, aren't you? Trust me, I want nothing to do with them. Just this morning, I was trying to go have breakfast and, you know, do my morning chores and, you know, try to clean up a bit. And you know what I saw? A big old carpenter ant just crawling on my bed. Like, sir, madam, whichever, please do not take up my space like that. <laughs> this is, we did not agree to cohabitate. I was not thrilled. I'm not sharing any of them with you. Trust me, you can have all of them. I want nothing to do with them. The second I get better forest monsters, anything buggy looking is getting out of my deck because I want nothing to do with it. Let's duel, though. <laughs> you measly maggot! You must have the brains of a louse to challenge a former champion! Prepare for a bug bashing with my super insect deck! Uh, I don't wanna, but I have to. Ah! Buddy, I have a surprise for you, but I think I'm going to be cautious because I feel like you're going to bring something out that's going to hurt me if I don't play it wary. Teehee! Teehee! What's this? Oh, nothing of benefit to me. Um... This is not great, but yeah, I don't really have many other options. My, uh, yeah. what is that? Oh no, he took out my fire monster. You jerk face. Okay, so why do you have fiends? Why do you have fiends and I guess, you know, to have some deck variation, but. Could I please have something more beneficial to me? Because, uh, we're gonna quickly get to a point where he's just gonna come and start hurting me. Oh my gosh. The, we're, we're playing risky games. And I don't think that we're playing risky games. Oof. I don't like this. Okay. I think, 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 think. He doesn't have wind monsters. I think we're okay. For a second. Oh man, why are you so scary? Why is this so spooky? Ugh. Oh sweet gosh. I, I think part of it is the way he's playing is um... Everything's getting boosted by the forest. So they're just so much stronger. I don't like whatever that is. Oh. Please don't be stronger than mine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh... Uh, yeah, I can't do anything about that. Just to lure something out. I mean... Don't know why I'm playing it so cautiously. But here I am. Playing cautiously. Uh... Uh, 
Um, just because I don't know if that's Edgaboon or not, that definitely could be. I'm going to do something. So yeah, this is what happens when you do permanent effects. Um, it's really annoying. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but yeah, I... I don't know why they did that in this game, but whatever. Oh my gosh! These duelists are getting very tricksy and I need to start upping my deck and planning a, a little better, but it's fine, it's fine. Yay! Duel victory deck effect. Okay, so we cannot duel you again, but Miko is duelable multiple times. I don't know why that is. 700 domino is obtained. Uh, thank you, sir. Skullmark ladybug. Oh! Okay. A ladybug that has a skull and crown. Hmm. I don't see that effect being super useful, but I guess sometimes it might be. Interesting. Don't get cocky! That was a fluke! Uh, yeah, we also scooted a little because, um, I went to go save, you know, just so I didn't have to do the dialogue again, just in case. And, uh, he starts moving <laughs> after that, so you'll have to forgive me for that. Okay, so... For some reason, uh, you can't go up here. I don't know why. It's like, this grass doesn't look too, too different, but it's definitely blocking me. Can I go down? No. Can I go this way? No. So it looks like our only point of entry is over here. So I guess this is our destination. <laughs> Yugi, are you okay over there? <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't look like he wants to go in, but unfortunately, uh, destiny demands we do. Ooh, I like this music. I feel like we've heard it before, but ooh, I do like it. Anyway, l look! Oh no, okay. <clears throat> I can't, I, I can't do male voices very well. I'm very sorry, this is gonna sound awful. <clears throat> it's been a long time, partner. I've already snatched the Millennium Item here. Including the ones you have, that makes six. Ishizu told me to bring back all the Millennium Items. Fork over the Millennium Items you have. Sir, that's very rude. No, I don't trust you. What are you waiting for? Give it! No, you are definitely, definitely, definitely not the spirit of the puzzle. I don't trust you. What? I said hand it over. Now do it. Nah. Come on, what are you waiting for, you idiot? Definitely not the right person. Hand over the Millennium Items. Wait a second, there's something wrong about him, Yume. Oh, trust me, I know. W what do you mean? I'm the same old dude- <laughs> Same old dude! <laughs> I don't think he knows that lingo. <laughs> same old- I, I can't even get this line out. <laughs> same old dude you know and love. Oh my god, that's funny. <gasps> How could things go wrong? I look exactly like him. My disguise is perfect. Um, maybe aesthetic, but definitely not attitude. Disguise? Uh, no, not a disguise. I meant, um, I. Ugh, my cover is blown, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I am the Mimic of Doom! We'll duel for the Millennium Items. Oh, great. Alright, if that's the way you want to play. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're, we can play a little riskier due to the fact that, uh... Words. I, um... Have 5,000 extra life points. What is that? little suspicious that so far I have um, things that just match. That doesn't usually happen. Basically, if he has an element, I could beat the... Huh? Did you just defend to a 700 attack point monster? Well, I'm just gonna go... I'm not bringing the Dark Magician Girl out solely due to the fact that he had a dream monster on start. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. He had a dream monster on start, which means that it can probably come and squish my poor Dark Magician Girl, which is not great. Mm. 
I feel as if the very annoying thing is gonna... Yeah, see? Dream monster. I could bring the annoying thing out. Well, I like the effect of it, but I really don't like the permanent effect! Permanent effect! Permanent effect! It's annoying. Uh... Gosh, the fairy type, though, is really killing it. I have to pick. He has dream type monsters. That would bring it up to about 800. That boosts everything else. <sighs> probably because it also it's a one-time effect. This is a lot better. Even though it's like, I'll probably lose it next turn. It's better. I'm just going to start dishing out more damage. Um, I think if I get another bear trap, I will bring the Dark Magician Girl out. If possible. Yeah, that's kind of what I suspected would happen, but mm, it's fine. Why do you I was about to ask, why do you have a lot of forest monsters? Gee, I wonder, maybe due to the climate of where we are? Sugar cakes. Um, I guess we risk it. She's probably gonna get squished by a dream monster, but unfortunately, not much I can do in that regard. Yep, as I thought. Sorry. I didn't want to have to, but now you've made me angry. So now I do the thing I do, which is I spite you. Aha! Okay. Hooray, we win. Deck capacity increased by three. 1,200 dominoes obtained. Yes, I will take all of that money, thank you. How dare you impersonate our friend and be very rude. Ooh, Zaki. Ooh, spell card Hmm. Not too sure how beneficial that will be, but I will consider. Thank you. No, I can't lose! Huh. Okay. I, I don't know why he just left that. <laughs> I don't know if it's so we wouldn't go after him or what, but... Alright. Um, shoot. I forget the voice you have. Hmm. Oh, well, just go in with it. Six Millennium Items. You are to be praised. I hope you will not give up until you defeat Rashef and save Pegasus from the darkness. For Pegasus is also a victim. He has been swallowed by Rashef's powers of darkness. You must save the world and Pegasus from the shadows. The Millennium Scale? We now have six Millennium Items. Quick, let's get back to Ishizu. But didn't the guy... S I guess he was saying, like, all together we have six? I thought he was saying, like, we, us, had six. Oh, no. There is one we're missing, isn't it? Which one are we missing? Mm, the no, we have the key. We have oh, the puzzle. Duh. <laughs> Which one are we missing? <laughs> Play the Jeopardy music while I just don't consider what it is. Duh. You have obtained the Millennium Scale. We now have six Millennium Items. Thank you. We should be able to use all three Egyptian God Cards. Uh. Uh. I was about to be like, oh yeah, but oh no. The deck adjustment. I, I don't have it in my deck. It's cool. Yes, this deck is okay. Thank, thank you, game. What? What's happening? What's wrong? N no, the Winged Dragon of Ra did not resurrect. And even worse, Slifer the Sky Dragon has turned back into stone. Is this the force of a chef the Dark Being? I don't know how he's doing that, but dang. But without the Egyptian God cards, we are helpless. There must be something we can do. I must think of all possibilities, no matter how small. In the meantime, please train diligently. You must raise your duelist level, or you will have no chance to win. Unless you just believe in the heart of the cards, and then just your deck will somehow listen to you through the force of magic! If you insist, Ishizu. I guess we have no other choice. Oh boy. Here it comes. Now this event, I remember clearly. I have only unlocked this event one time in my entire time of playing this game. And I don't know how I did it <laughs> by not having a guide or anything. This dog, isn't this Lucky Tristan's dog? I didn't know he named his dog Lucky. What would Lucky be doing here? 
Well, I didn't remember because I saw this, but oh well. Do you think something happened at Tristan's house? Don't worry about me. You should check on your friend immediately. In the meantime, I will think of a plan to stop a chef. Okay, Shizu, good luck. You met Joey, let's go. Time to go! Check on what this poor doggy wants us to see, or not see. Lucky, what's wrong? Hey, Joey! Yume, Yugi, and Joey! Is Tristan around? I don't see him. Hehe. <laughs> Tr Tristan. Is something wrong? What? Did something happen to Tristan? Serenity, tell me, what happened to Tristan? Joey. Uh, I feel like I'm not giving him the right voice, so I'm sorry, it's not consistent. Joey, Tristan isn't here. Duh, I can see that. <laughs> Sassy Yugi! So where is he? <laughs> oh my god, the monkey! Oh, this monkey! I read that monkeys and dogs don't get along, but this monkey and Lucky seem like best friends. It can't be. This monkey robot. Could it, <laughs> Could it be Tristan? How would you get from point A to B? I... Alright. Weirder things have happened. Really? Oh, oh. Tristan turned into a robot? Lucky is Tristan's dog, and it's getting along great with this robot. That's all the proof I need. I... I guess so. And, and, this may be another repercussion due to her chef's resurrection. Okay, now I see how we got from A to B, but still. A little far-fetched. How? Who other can you think of? What other reason can you think of? Please, learn to read. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, if this was the virtual world, I wouldn't be surprised if Tristan turned into a monkey. Mm, I see what you did there, game. But a guy can't turn into a robot in real life. I, I guess so. But if this is true, Tristan may never regain his human form. <laughs> I love the little monkey noises, they're so cute. Tristan? Tristan! And that's what happened. Big Brother, I saw this look on Tristan's face. It was as if he was saying that he didn't want anyone to follow him. I wonder if he's going to be okay. Don't worry about a thing, Serenity. Tristan's our friend. There's no way he'll we'll abandon him. We'll look for him, but I want you to stay here, Serenity, just in case he comes back. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess now we are chasing the monkey robot Tristan. Due to Rashef's influence. Hey Mako, did you see a monkey robot? There's a cartload of monkeys around. Aha! They're in the rainforest. Why, thank you! Oh my god. Look at all the monkey robots! It's impossible to tell which one is Tristan! Watching you, monkey. Aircraft. Mm -hmm.
if it's the same thing as this previous go-round. Yep, that's what I thought. This monkey is so rude, you guys have no idea. Wait, that was different though. That wasn't the same. What does that mean? Okay, that's different. Ugh, I really have no idea what's happening here, and I'm not thrilled. Okay, now my flame swordsman is poof. Which is fantastic. By fantastic, I mean irritating as all get out. I can't even. Why is this monkey so hard? I don't understand why this monkey is such a pain in my neck. The repeated movements definitely get you, um, if not a very similar hand, basically the same hand. Sorry, I'm thinking. Uh, doesn't matter. Might as well try, right? What else can you do? Oh my gosh. The thing that's gonna lead me to victory is that lamp that attacks life points directly at this pace. Wait, no. Actually, wait, did I win? Did I actually beat the stupid monkey? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. It literally has taken me. I don't even know how much time, because I stopped for a bit. But like... Okay, let me quickly explain. So what happened is, I had a hand the first time I dueled it, and I miscalculated what it would bring out, because I didn't know how to have earth monsters. So I had a wind monster in my hand, didn't notice it, I didn't know it had earth. So I didn't think to put the wind monster down, and due to that miscalculation, it got too many monsters out on the field, and it beat me. And ever since, I never got a hand that worked well for me. So this is time number I don't even know. Too many. And like, I had a very similar hand to what was coming out, and that was why I was so quiet, because I was expecting a lot worse to happen. Um, my flame swordsman died, I think, a turn earlier, and it it brought out more things that were a, a bigger pain. So I was just not really sure what to do, but I figured might as well go with it. And when I brought uh, this monster out and it brought out another earth monster and just defended, it kind of worked in my favor because I could bring more things out. Oh my God. <laughs> this monkey is so rude. And it's like, I'm pretty patient, but there are, there are limits. Oh my gosh. Huh, perseverance sometimes is a... Uh... The best thing you can do. And uh, don't shirk on your training slash grinding. Because <laughs> uh, this is what happens. It Eventually, you... you I don't know. <laughs> I don't even have words right now. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Death capacity increased by three. 630 domino was obtained. And to Oh. Oh. Toadmaster. Okay, that's actually really interesting. And I will consider adding that to my deck for a little bit. That's actually a really interesting monster. Thank you. I I believe all of our grievances are <clears throat> aired out. Oh god, my throat is so <laughs> very angry due to like I was talking all through every uh, attempt pretty much at varying levels, but uh, my throat is getting dry. I get it. The monkeys think we're stealing their bananas. That's why they're challenging us to duel. I mean, I don't know how these monkeys know how to duel. How do they even have decks? And why are robot monkeys having bananas? None of this makes sense. These monkey robots can duel? That Right, Joey? Right? I got it, Yume. I know how we can find out which one is Tristan. Do tell us. Tristan is a total amateur when it comes to dueling. So all we need to do is duel these monkey robots. The weakest one is Tristan. That won't work. You have, like, they could be a similar level, but it's, like, a different level of bad, you know? Good, like, that's a good idea, but I don't think that's quite what we need to do. I don't think there's any other way to tell them apart. I mean, yeah, but if he changed his deck and we don't know, we're screwed. We've been going around the world. We don't know if he's updated his deck or not. We're running on the assumption he hasn't changed it. 
We know he's slacking off at work. We know he's trying to impress Joey's sister. I'm sorry, Joey, but it's true. We are literally banking on the fact that he has been lazy. <sighs> but okay. We will try dueling them, Yugi and Joey. All right. But I'm gonna say first. You're a very rude monkey. A good duelist, but a very rude monkey. Yeah. I didn't realize you could talk to them. So I, I just came down here in order to uh, go get some new cards, but where could Tristan have gone? I bet Tristan ran off on purpose. That's the only way Serenity would pay any attention to him instead of me. N no, he wouldn't do that. He's not that type of guy. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I didn't realize there was more to this. Grandpa, we're in trouble. Tristan turned into a monkey robot and ran away. Monkey robot? Like the ones made by Kaiba Corp. I knew that dirty rat was Kaiba's fault. Only a psycho like him would make a monkey out of my friend. The robot looked harmless to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. Uh, I'm looking for some trap cards, please. Uh, trap card, trap card. Hmm. This would be great, but that is costly, and I don't have enough for that right now. Um, one of these, pretty please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Dang it. This is not gonna. Now we're gonna have to play games. We're really gonna have to play some games. And not the fun kind, the annoying kind. Uh, go by type. Go by type. There's tape. I'm on it! <laughs> oh my gosh. I am mentally starting to just get really tired. Okay, just down we go. Take one of these. We're over a little bit. Deck. Um, uh, I think right now we can take this out and put it with something that costs. Uh, sure. R for right now we'll just do that. <laughs> Taya, do you have anything to say about this? Why would Kaiba turn Tristan into a robot? Well, we have more important things to worry about. If Tristan is a monkey, where would he go? Of course he'd look for bananas. <laughs> look for him where you can find bananas. Bananas? That would be... The Galapagos Islands? We'll search where monkeys hang out. <laughs> oh, I guess it's a hint. I... Hmm. Makes sense. Please be nice. I doubt it because you think I'm stealing your bananas!
This one's way tougher than Tristan. Oh, Joey, you're not wrong. Let's challenge another one. Uh, hello. This one's just as angry. One of these, but thank you. I mean, I can't add any more, but thank you. This one's still too strong to be Tristan. Try challenging another one. Yes, Joey. <laughs> Joey is really concerned. I mean, I can't say I blame him. Uh, what is my luck today? Okay. I believe, since we saw one enter in here, there's one more. Why are you running? Are you Tristan? We'll know for sure after we duel. Why are we boxing this poor monkey in? Yeesh. I feel like we're- okay, it's got a different field. Just seeing a monster card that's not exceptionally overpowered is such a relief to me right now. I'm just like, oh my god. Sometimes you really do just have to like switch a couple things in your deck because even running around doesn't necessarily help because you're never going to fully match your patterns. So. Oh, sweet goodness gracious. Like, it seems to be alluding to the fact that this is, like, Tristan level. Which, oh my gosh, I have never been so happy. Okay, that's not totally true, but... Oh my gosh. We don't even need to sacrifice the life points. We can literally- ah, we can literally just do this. Because why not? Okay, that was significantly easier. And I think that was the point. <laughs> the capacity increase rate- ah, see it's alluding to the fact you can duel multiple times because it only went up by one! 30 domino. Big trap. Oh. Huh. Um, I guess if I need that to hold, like, a place? But I don't think the AI really thinks much about it. This monkey's lousy. There's no doubt about it. You're Tristan, aren't ya? How twice if it's true? <laughs> I don't think he's a howler monkey, Tr uh, I almost said Tristan. Oh, uh, we've been saying his name so much. Uh, Joey. Man, look at ya. How could Kaiba do this to ya? Let's take him back to the town of Domino. Tristan! I'm so glad you found him! Hey Tristan, that's enough! Get away from Serenity! Why, you? Stop, Joey! 
Hasn't Tristan suffered enough already? Yeah, but... You're starting to tick me off, Tristan. Oh, that monkey robot! Grandpa, this monkey robot is actually Tristan. Yugi, what on earth are you saying? I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. I'll prove it to you. Tristan, can you- if you can understand me, how three times? And that's all she wrote. <laughs> I can't even do his laugh right now, this is so ridiculous. What what's the matter, Grandpa? You kids are too much. That monkey robot was one of the products I was selling in my store. But since no one bought it, I was playing with it. But but it understood everything I said. That's because I programmed it so it would. I was wondering where it went, but I'm glad to have it back. Come on, monkey robots, let's go back to the shop. But just seeing it all happen again after all of the suffering, for some reason, it just feels really good. It's like catharsis. Hey guys, what are you all doing here? Oh, uh, what? Why are you all looking at me weird? You. Where in the world were you? Uh, I had the munchies, so I went out for some food. You idiot, after we went ape over you. W what are you talking about? Then this monkey robot is really just a robot? That's what you get for monkeying around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Joey and his sister are really good about puns. This is so good. Oh, I love it. I love puns. This is, oh, this makes it all worth it. All the suffering. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, nice one, Serenity. You said going ape. Come on, you make puns too. <laughs> I'm glad you guys care so much. But come on, you've got to be kidding. I don't look anything like that monkey robot. I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> I think you're hilarious. I totally thought that the monkey robot was Tristan. You have to admit there is a strong resemblance. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh oh. You don't have anything to say about this? Taya, what do you have to say? Oh, nothing? Grandpa? Well, Yugi's grandpa? Oh. Really? What about you, Mr. Robot? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord. That was... A lot. That was intense, but okay. Um, I think now that we have a new little friend wandering in the shop, which uh, it's getting a little crowded up in here. I'm I'm just gonna end the episode here because uh, we got another Millennium item, and for some reason the uh, one of the God cards turned to stone. Which probably means they all turn back to stone. So I guess Ishizu wants us to go grind. So. I better take her word for it because this episode definitely proved that uh, luck will only get you so far and a flexible deck is really a good deck indeed. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and until our next duelist adventure, no monkeying around! <laughs> bye! Bye bye!